Hi, it's Zena, Warthog Princess, and welcome to another Trying New Things. This is actually a follow-up from the Bostanton and the Minoy pieces that I received a while back. I'll put a link for each of them back-to-back -back right here for you. And let's take a look at them. I've been using them for a few weeks now. Just, um, I'm here traveling in the RV and whatnot, so I'm stationary at my brother's place. I don't take a purse or even barely a wallet anywhere unless I need to, which has not been that much. I mean, I go to pickleball, we might go out to run errands, go to the grocery store. So it hasn't been like a normal daily use for me. Doesn't matter though, because using them at all has given me some good perspective. First of all, I really, really like this style of bag much more than I thought I would. I mean, it's a single strap. You can put a different kind of strap on it, use it as a crossbody if you want. But this is a great size, it's very comfortable. It does come with two straps. And the, it does also come with this bag. So let me put that for a sec. So this is just a slouchy, satiny kind of bag. It has the, uh, the leather trim on it with a zipper. It has a privacy zipper inside as well. And there's really nice zipper pulls that are just really smooth, great grab. They're really nice. Um, additionally, it has two slip pockets on the inside. So it is an organizational pouch for the big open bag. And it does come with a second colorful strap that is reversible. So one side is that, it's a woven strap, and the other side is that. Still has the leather ends and the nice clips. Same size as the leather one. I've just chosen to use the leather one. And I pulled this out and set it aside because I wasn't using that piece. So, what am I using? What's in my bag? Um, well, it's boring and generic because it's pretty much what was in my Lug Ranger. So I will include that video here as well. So you can see the details of it. This will be just pretty generic, just to kind of show you how things fit. So it is pretty large bag. Inside, there's not really any organization at all. It is straight bag. It does have a snap closure on the top and it is magnetic so it does find its way home pretty easily. Around the outside of the bag you have side pockets, front pocket with a snap, back pocket with a snap. So front and back are identical except one side has the bust in and stamped in there. Stamped in there, sorry. Um, but yeah, so what I've been doing is I just put my phone into one of the front pocket. And it does snap open, so it is bigger, but it just fits perfectly right in that one slip. So it's easily accessible, even when it's on my arm. I can just grab it. I know exactly where my phone is. It works for me. Okay, so inside the bag, what do I have? Well, I have this generic nautical pouch. It's faux leather. It's got my tech stuff in it, so charging cords, plugs, AirPods, that kind of stuff right now. I've got a lug peekaboo pouch in the sea life blue pattern and this one has like uh, miscellaneous stuff it's got lip gloss or chapstick it's got hand lotion it's got dental floss toothpick things it's got some hand sanitizer you know just random stuff some hair ties etc um, so I'm just using it as a catch-all pouch right now I have my clamshell readers case from Vera Bradley um, I want to say this is Sea Life, Shore, Sea Life, uh, anyways, I've forgotten, sorry. Um, inside I do have my Paisley Wave sunglasses, they fit nicely in the reader's case, and the cool thing about the reader's case is they're slightly more slim profile than the big sunglasses case, and since my sunglasses fit, it's more convenient for me to do it that way. I have some Extra Freshers Mint Mix Gum. Yeah, I just put the whole thing in there because it's a big bag and you can do that. I have an Extra Pen. This is my Lug Sea Life Pen. Uh, I'm sorry, no. Stars and Shells Navy Pen because that matches my Lug bag. I have my Little Mermaid Fan. It's plastic. It works great. <laughs> I've been taking this everywhere for quite some time now, especially in Arizona in the summer because I get hot. And then the last thing is my other piece that we're going to talk about briefly and that's the Minoy um, bag. It's actually a crossbody bag. 
but I've been using it as a grab and go and wallet and this has really been great I have the strap but I take it just like this it's not a wristlet strap but you know you find the bag it's just a nifty little charm on there I take it just like this I grab it out as a wallet inside the zipper portion I have the actual strap it's a leather strap with clips it's adjustable and I just have it set in there and I wear it as a crossbody I have my keys so that's just my truck key and my shopping tag bag charm which are clipped off right now because I took the key out the other day and then my medic alert keychain so there's really nothing much in there just that this pocket does have two slips and a zipper so it is a proper small purse I just am not using it really for that right now so I just keep those things in there because to drive my truck I don't even need to take the key out unless I'm not taking this purse <laughs> so that's all that's in there I stick my phone in this back pouch pocket there's my shopping list from the other day so my phone fits in here so when I grab and go I just put my phone in there I do have to be careful though because it is just wide enough that this pocket doesn't snap when the phone's in it which is totally fine if I'm carrying it on my hip like this as a crossbody but if I am just carrying it in my hand I have to be careful not to dump that phone out by accident now the cool part about this bag is this front pocket it is a built-in wallet, but not just any wallet. It is really amazing. So I've basically been using this whole thing as a wallet plus. I know it's a bit bulky to carry as a wallet, but it works with this bag. So this is like a book. So you open it up, you have two slips and another slip. That's where I was putting my receipts. I just cleaned it out. There's a snap pocket with a leather top. That's really amazing. It has good gussets on all of these. These are little leather things that you could stick things like chapstick or other things I've got nothing in there I just have my pen then you have a zip space that's been my coin slot I just cleaned that out as well and then you have card slots you have six card slots three and three and I've got them all double or triple stacked totally fine and then the cash drawer right behind it so that is how I've been using it and I it's got a double zipper but I just zip it the way I like for my window when I'm opening it, it goes this way. So for me, but you have the option to switch it around however you like. I like that. I kind of wish some of the other brands like Lug. I love a lot of their wallets, but a couple of them zip backwards. If it was a double zipper, you could choose which way. So I like that idea. But anyways, that's how I've been using it. And that's what's in my bag. So I can just toss all these things in here. I am generally much more organized than the toss. <laughs> Even now I have trouble just doing that. So I stand them vertically so you can grab each one individually and these things just go on the side. So what it looks like right now as I just put those things in there is they just stand vertically. So nothing is stacked on top of other things. Everything is reachable. There's plenty more room for other stuff, but there you go. So that's it. That's what's in my bag. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.